Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Russia deploys 50 warplanes to Black Sea as US warns airlines they could be shot down over Ukraine like Flight MH17. Russia is today conducting major aerial exercises including missile launches and bombings involving 50 warplanes over the Black Sea as it flexes its military muscle. The US has warned commercial pilots against overflying the potential war zone around eastern Ukraine, according to a report, amid fears they could be shot down like Flight MH17. During the last hot conflict in the region, a Malaysia Airlines Boeing 777 Flight MH17 was shot out of the sky by pro-Moscow rebels, killing 298 people, in July 2014. The provocative show of force comes as new videos indicate Russia continues to mass its military might close to the Ukrainian frontier. One video showed a detachment of warships moved by the Russian Navy from the Caspian Sea to the Black Sea, the first such switch since Soviet times, according to reports. Another highlights armaments and troops being moved by road and rail in Krasnodar, Rostov, and Bryansk regions. Some 50 Russian fighters, bombers and attack aircraft were due to be involved in exercises over the Black Sea, reported Interfax, in a move only likely to exacerbate tensions. Taking part are Su-27SM and Su-30SM fighters, Su-24M and Su-34 bombers and Su-25SM-3 attack aircraft, reported Interfax. Exercises, the planes will perform missile launches and bombardment of naval targets, said the report. Crews from the Russian Air Force and the Black Sea Fleet would perform tasks to accompany ship strike groups and actions as part of reconnaissance strike complexes while ensuring security in the Black Sea. The war games come amid the greatest period in tension between Russia and Ukraine with almost 100,000 Russian troops believed to be massed on its borders with its ex-Soviet neighbor. Su-25 SM-3 attack aircraft from the Stavropol territory were relocated to airfields in Crimea, annexed by Russian from Ukraine seven years ago, said Interfax. The Su-25 SM-3 squadron from the Crimea has been relocated to the Ashaluk test site in the Astrakhan region. Naval aircraft and helicopters and the Black Sea Fleet are also involved. The detachment includes the Admiral Makarov frigate equipped with caliber cruise missiles, the Graveron and VYSHNY Volochek small missile ships, as well as large landing ships, the Samum hovercraft and the Ivan Golyabets minesweeper. On Tuesday Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said Moscow was conducting major exercises in response to threats from NATO. The exercises come despite the US abandoning plans to deploy two missile destroyers to the Black Sea. In a separate report, Russian state-owned TASS news agency reported that the US Federal Aviation Authority, FAA, had recommended American pilots to show extreme caution when flying above certain regions of Russia and Ukraine. The FAA had issued two notices to airmen, NOTAM, said the report. Air crews were told to exercise extreme caution when flying into, out of, within, or over the areas of the Moscow Flight Information Region, FIR, as well as the Rostov-on-Don, Simferopol, Dnepr and Kiev furs. The notices were issued due to potential safety of flight risks associated with escalating regional tensions between Russia and Ukraine. These could potentially result in no-notice cross-border skirmishes, increased military activities, and or conflict, said the FAA, according to TASS. Both notices were issued for all U.S. air carriers and commercial operators. In Ukraine, a warning was given by Army Commander Colonel General Ruslan Komchak not to form private militias amid fear of Russian attack. I request representatives of state authorities and local administrations to refrain from instigating the situation and sowing panic sentiments in society he was quoted as saying. I urge to refrain from shifting the emphasis by creating militarized formations that are not stipulated by law. The Ukrainians fear that formation of unofficial armed bands could be exploited by Russia. If you like this video, hit the notification button for more news. Thank you for watching.